up guys? Welcome back to Godric. There's another episode of some Animal Crossing on the GameCube. Uh, wow. Okay, I live all from the museum. I usually don't get more than three back per day. Okay, looks like I'm gonna be making some money. So in the last episode, we did a lot of, uh, fishing. Oh, these are all pretty damn valuable fossils, too. There's ever, like, two of them, I think. Wow. Yeah, he's like a, a dinosaur track, trilobite, dinosaur egg, and a couple others are only worth a thousand, but like everything else is at, worth at least like three thousand, so it's pretty good, I'd say. I think the museum just got sick of me, it's just like, alright dude, we gotta change our rules, we can't just send three back per day, we gotta I'm get rid of all this guy. This guy named Dylan from this asshole town called Godric. Get rid of him, trying to ruin our economy with his world-class fossil. I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, we're just chilling here. Last episode, we did a lot of fishing. Just here, too. Got a lot of tails. Yeah. So I got an amber and a dinosaur egg, I think. Dinosaur track. Alright. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, whenever you leave, it turns off the lights. But, uh, this is the state of my house right now, it seems like. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if we got any new villagers today. Vladimir and Midge, we got Midge, cool. I don't know who that is, but it's new, so. Lulu, Pippi Ursula. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so we can fit one more villager in our town, and that's gonna be it. So, there are definitely some jerks in my town that I kinda wanna get rid of, and hopefully replace with um, other better villagers, superior villagers that are uh, much nicer. But, there is not really a, like him, for example. Like, a uh, fucking bourgeoisie. Um, I don't know where I was going with that, but we got Midge here, or uh, Vladimir, and then Midge here. I don't really know Midge. I think I've heard her name before. There's not really a surefire way to make villagers move. I think in New Leaf, there you can complain. Oh, my bad. I was gonna ask her a favor. Actually, I'm not gonna do any favors right now. I'm gonna go sell these. Um, I've been playing a lot of other uh, Animal Crossing games lately, so I'm not really sure. Tom Nook is... Okay, it's, it's over here. That's what I thought. And you have to do the stupid bridge thing to get to the post office. Man, this sucks. Uh, barber shirt. Vertigo shirt. Those sound pretty good. I'm mostly into tie-dye right now, but... Not, not too bad. Yeah, that's what I figured it would look like. I'll stick with this for now. I think I'll sell the bar barber, and then I'll keep Vertigo. And of course sell, like, the 50 million fossils that I just got. I think I might need paper too, huh? Did I have any paper? Yeah, I don't have paper. Oh, I'm holding the fishing rod. Alright. Stock money, Tom. Alright, 20,000 maybe. Uh, 22,000, alright, that's a good guess. That is a fuckload of money, dude. I'm gonna get my debt paid off in no time if I keep doing this. And now that I can fish, also got a good source of, uh, income. Let's see, this is modern tile. Ooh, that would fit my, uh, my modern wardrobe, I think it is. Which is pretty neat that I have a storage, um, container. Because they're usually pretty hard to come by. Exotic. That is not very exotic. Okay. Um, once fucking Jew Christmas... No, I'm just kidding. Once all the f holiday shit is over, I can finally buy real furniture from him. And I think that starts to happen right around the... Uh, right around New Year's. It's getting very close to that, especially in this town. Because in real life right now, it's 1220... Uh, why did I literally say it like that? Um, it is December... 28th, um, but I think in this file I must have changed it to like 30th or 31st, so we're definitely getting really close to that. See if anyone dug it. Oh, cool. Bessie dug something in <laughs> B4, that's fantastic. Um, B4. Oh, cool, it's just right there. Alright, let's look for holes then. Oh, I forgot to buy paper. Oh, well. I'll get it when I need it. Okay. 
Probably on the other side of the bridge then. Oh, here it is. It's hidden behind the sign. Oh, that was a good dig. God damn it. Wow, you dug a fucking pitfall seed. Good for you. That's worth looking for. God damn it. It's worth like five bells. The fish didn't swim away. I was running right past it. Alright. Come on. Whoa, okay, I thought I, I thought I lost it there for a sec. Pale chub. Oh yeah, let me check my uh, fish log here. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. Not bad. This is pretty much all the winter fish, all the common winter fish. With the exception of goldfish, I don't really catch a lot of those. Wasn't expecting to get one. Okay, that fish is fucking weird. For all I know, it's probably a can. Goddamn cans in this game. Alright. Man, alright. Just not feeling it today. Come on. There we go, that's a good angle. Second bite, and he quickly swam away. Damn, that must have been a real fish then. Usually empty cans and like boots and all that dumb stuff. Um, doesn't really make a big effort to bite your bobber, and that's pretty obvious why, because it's not a fish. It's not a real life thing. Uh, while well, I'm at it, I might as well look for the money rock. This is like the prime spot for a money rock, because it has all the room it needs for uh, dropping all eight money bags. But uh, I guess it's not going to be that one today. Is this B4? No, it's A4. I was like, maybe Bessie put it here. And the pitfall seed was just a coincidence. Damn. Bessie's such a jerk. Yeah, here's a pitfall seed. If you don't know what they do, they, um... If you walk over it without digging it, you'll, like, fall in the hole. Which is kind of stupid. Alright. Let's try these. Nope. Got a pill bug though. Don't really want to catch it. Do I even have a net? No, I don't. <laughs> so weird. Maybe I should uh, meet up with. I think I already did talk to Midge. Well, I realized I got like four villagers in the same freaking uh, row. Never anything there. I think I see a hole down here. Excellent. Excellent. Fucking fantastic. Nice, nice. And, uh, let me see if this is the money rock here. It's a pretty good spot, too. Nope. The reason the money rock is such a big deal is because that's. 13,000, so just without doing anything, like excluding fossils completely, that could get you to pay off your debt within like 10 days. Uh, th this debt, the 148,000 one. So, other debts would take a bit longer, but you gotta take into account that I also do fossils, I also fish, sometimes even do seashells. Well, they are kind of a waste of time. They're not worth much, and you have to run across the entire map. But that's just some. Oh my God! What up, Gulliver? I didn't think I'd find him. It... As far as I remember, he's pretty rare. You have to keep talking to him and eventually wake him up. I was saying something earlier about um, the names of a lot of, or the concepts of a lot of uh, villagers in this game are inspired by western pop culture and this guy's no different he's actually a reference to I think Gulliver's Travels and it's a book which happened to be the first book that Guy Montag wrote um, in Fahrenheit 451 to like find meaning in his life so it's pretty significant to me but it's kinda neat <laughs> I keep staring at my fucking uh, stupid like rosy cheeks right there Looks so stupid. Man, 
my character has seen some shit. I I did not read a single word that Gulliver said. What did he give me? Okay, he gave me a fishing bear. Every single thing he gives you will be like a rare item. Conch is worth a lot, probably. I think anything coral, yeah. I think coral's worth a lot too. I don't want to fill my inventory with seashells. It's a lame way to play the game. Nope. So, Gulliver's just gonna be chilling here. Apparently he, uh, was a victim of a shipwreck. But I might be wrong, because I totally didn't pay any attention. Oh, white scallop, I think those are worth a lot. Basketball, really? Is there anyone at the well? I don't think so. Alright. Um, yeah, didn't really have a lot of stuff planned. Oh, so, oh okay. Um, I'm gonna go buy another shovel. Wait, did I? Have I already done, uh, the, um, the golden shovel tree yet? Okay, I gotta remember, this is an acre F1. Well, either way, it's uh, pretty hard for trees to grow. I think it's like a 50-50 chance for trees to grow in the winter, which sucks. But um, what you have to do to get the golden shovel, which is what I'm trying to do, is you have to go find a shimmering spot. Oh, hey, roll. You have to go find a shimmering spot and then bury another shovel in that shimmering spot, and it will grow. It sounds stupid, but it will grow a shovel tree. And I'm not sure if I've attempted this yet. I can't remember. I think if I did try it earlier, I would have remembered. So I don't think I did. Isn't by the shovel that he's got in stock. Wait, let me just check something really quick. Ah, shit. Hang on, guys. Sorry, guys. I just realized my, um... My video was on some sort of, like, uh, auto, auto, uh, auto timer, like, where it started a new recording every 12 minutes. I think it was something that I was trying to record earlier last night, and I forgot to change it, so that's great. So I fixed that now. It's kind of annoying. But, um, yeah, I got to find out that I was, that I'd been recording for 12 minutes, because that was the timer I had it on. Okay, cool. And while I'm here, I'm going to sell my fish and uh, seashells here. <sighs> sell that worthless piece of shit. I think it's worth, like, I think it's worth zero bells, but you have to sell it with stuff that is worth so. I'm not going to sell my fishing bear. I want to see what it looks like, and if I don't like it, then I'll probably sell it. I think I'll keep the vertigo and display it in my house. Okay. Should be it. 1250. Whatever. Cool. Let's head back to Acre F1. Now I'm not really sure what inspired me to start recording this again. I think it's just like I kind of got mad at myself. Oh, I I knew I was going the wrong way. I kind of got mad at myself for not uh for abandoning a lot of series for whatever reasons you know. But, um, this one in particular didn't really have a lot of reason that I stopped doing it. In fact, um, this one had the least reason, uh, just as little reason as Dead Island, actually. It's the same exact situation that I was in where I had a ton of files, and the only reason they didn't get put, um, on YouTube is because I was really lazy. And that's a really shitty way of ending a series. And it just occurred to me that the shimmering spot is not on grass. I don't know if you can grow trees on dirt oh my god I accidentally just patched it up god fuck whatever it doesn't matter anyway god damn it uh, so now I've just got two shovels for no reason whatever it happens it's no big deal uh, there's a new shimmering spot every day anyway so I'll find it I don't think I've uh, tried this for the money rock I might have nope ah Freaking uh, shovel system in this game. You could usually just uh, press B in all the other games to patch it up with your foot. And I still forgot to buy paper. Well, I'm doing great today. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go around for that.
ocean fish are a lot more um, fierce with their timing. And it was a fucking sea bass. Oh my god. That is like the most worthless fish. It's worth almost nothing. He was a fifth biter. I thought it was something good. Oh, just barely got that one. Okay, wow, and it's a goddamn sea bass. I'm just gonna donate the first one that I have. These things are not even worth selling sometimes. It's like maybe 200 bells at most. Oh, actually I ran a little bit. Ocean fishing is not something I do a lot in this game because it's particularly hard. Uh, I generally stick to river fishing, which is why I get stuff like freshwater goby, pale chub, bitterling, because those are uh, freshwater fish. And this is probably about the size of a uh, sea bass anyway, so I'll just give up on that. Okay. So after that awesome series of events, oh, there's Bessie. Hey, asshole, why'd you bury a fucking pitfall and say it was something good? Entertain me. Yep. Yeah, okay. <sighs> I've already arranged plans for this, Bessie. Yeah, it's great. You can, Could you stop talking now, please? Please, can you shut the fuck up, bitch? Alright. Uh, Rhoda. Ah, uh, I don't want her to move away. Whenever people say that, it's usually a sign they're gonna move away. Uh, she's actually a decent character. <laughs> Eggbird is always looking to press. Damn. Alright. See if this is the money rock. Should be. Okay, that's a good spot. Nope. Man, I really love this game. Uh, since there's no freaking grass where you can run everywhere as much as you want with the without the grass deteriorating. I hate when they infuse like realistic themes in games. Just kinda ruins it. Nope. Oh my god. Nope. Oh my god, I'm so bad at- Like, you think by the time you played this game for like seven plus years, you'd be- Oh, yes, here it is. Come on. Alright, that's it. You think by the time- You think by, you know, when you've been playing this game for seven years, that you'd have decent skills. But, uh, nope. I still suck a dick at this game. Well, these money rocks are great. They're really gonna, uh, accelerate me paying off my debt. See, I've already got, like, another third of it paid off. I think I'm gonna go for that fish in a second. Come on. I haven't really checked this yet, but I think the inventory is a lot bigger in New Leaf. This is easily my most played Animal Crossing game. New Leaf is probably a close second. Or actually, a second, but not very close. Fifth bite. What you got? It is a barbel seed, I think. No, it's a carp. They have the same uh, mouth. That's usually what I look at. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go get some paper. I gotta mail these fossils. Oh. Oh, yeah, I've already found the money rock. What am I thinking? Uh, is this Rhoda's house? It's rolled. Fucking penguin. What a great camera angle. You want me a letter? Oh, I probably just fucking threw that shit away. <laughs> if it doesn't have a fossil in it, I don't give a shit, Rolled. 
get to break it to. I talk money. I conduct business understood. Things you never could. So dope that I even make. Oh, he he really did. Okay. I think. Wait, he sent me a gift too. This is from Roald, right? Oh my God. Yo, I got your letter, but it was short. I wanted a longer letter. Not this one's all that long. Kind of is actually. Oh, hey, I want these clothes. I hope you like them. I was hoping he'd send me a uh, foreign fruit, because that's usually yeah, it's usually up to villagers or traveling to other towns to get foreign fruits. The deep blue tea. I kind of like the sound of that. Ooh, that almost fits in with my neon collection. I'm gonna go ahead and display all the shirts I got today. Yeah, this. Mm, yeah, screw it. I'll just line it up with the work uniform. I am going to wear this deep blue tee, because it's pretty damn good. Pretty good. Cool. Yeah, I've got some nice shirts going on, actually. Usually I don't get good shirts. Um, so I'm going to sell these, get some paper, mail those, and then probably time travel on a, uh, another day. Because, I mean, really, if you want to pay off your debts as soon as possible without cheating, I mean, you kind of have to time travel. So you can keep the, uh... Good times rolling. Where the fuck am I going? Okay. God. <laughs> I shouldn't record these episodes and I'm so tired. Alrighty. What kind of paper you got today, Nook? Simple paper. Great. Sounds pretty special. Yep. This is the first paper I've seen. I think that's... Is that not the paper they use on the bull, uh, bulletin boards? Or am I just imagining that? I don't know. I know I've seen that somewhere at the beginning of the game. Okay. And one last letter. Um, I, yeah, I think I rejected that one because it was kind of shitty. Okay. Um, yeah, I never tried this out. The only thing it would match is my modern dresser and it's because it's from the same collection, so I don't really know. See, it's the same as that. It does pair uh, decently well with my wallpaper. Oh, I had paper the whole time. God damn it. Ah, at least it's good to know it's there. I should probably put it in the wardrobe and make it more obvious. Move that. December ticket. Better not know. Um, here we go. I'm going to remove my December ticket. And stack it with this. So I can have all five. And I might... No, actually, I'm going to keep my shovel. You never know when I might find another glowing spot in the ground. Oh, yeah. Let's see what the fishing bear looks like. I'll probably put it, like, in the center, maybe. Okay, wrong way. Interesting. I'll put it where the stereo goes, and I'll put the stereo in the corner, maybe. I guess it looks alright. Hang on, guys, I got a text. Okay. Um, this is probably going to wrap up this episode. I'm going to go ahead and mail the letters, or uh, sell my fish and then mail the letters, and then we'll go, uh, I'll go ahead and end the episode there and uh, start recording a new one as soon as possible. And by the time the next episode starts, it should be the next day in Animal Crossing, which might actually be the same day. Let me check the time. I have to go outside to check the time. I'll check in a sec. Might actually be the day of the lottery. And it's good timing for me to get my uh, stack of five lottery tickets, because that's what you need to do the lottery once. Which is kind of a ripoff, but yeah. Whatever. Alright. 
tape deck. I'll put that somewhere else when I feel like it. And I'm gonna go ahead and mail the letters, and that should be it. So, cool. And I love the hourly music. It's just like the charm of this game. It's like a lot of unique aspects of this game just make it really special. Even on an emulator and it's like shittiest form because you can't really do a lot of features in the game like uh, going to the island because you need a Game Boy and uh, doing the e-reader shit. <clears throat> I never even had cards to the e-reader uh, when I had the original console. Even when they were still being sold in stores, I never got any. Which I kind of regret. So I bet they'd be pretty cool. But now you got QR codes and all that in the new game, so... Yeah. Alright. That wraps up this episode. I've mailed all my fossils. I should get another round of fossils tomorrow. And, uh... That's all I gotta say, so I'm gonna run back to my house and, uh... Do a proper ending. Alright, so that's going to be it for today, um, I'll see you as soon as possible, I'll go ahead and uh, put deposit this toward my debt when I return, so um, until then, see you later, thanks for watching.